Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Commissioners. Uh, thank you, everyone, everyone who's come here today. It's my pleasure to be able to present uh, the uh, 2016 Citizen of the Year Award. Uh, it's a great honor, but indeed, it's uh, done with a melancholy heart that uh, this award th this year is being presented posthumously. Um, is being presented to uh, a gentleman who I've gotten to know very well over the last several years. Uh, he's been a wonderful activist and uh, um, a great human being. Unfortunately, he passed away earlier this year, and uh, um, and today we have his son and his wife who come today to receive the award and the plaque. But before we do any of that, I'd like to take a moment and read a proclamation which has been uh, signed by our mayor and uh, presented on behalf of the commission. The city of Fort Lauderdale did this proclamation honoring Charles Chuck Black as Citizen of the Year for 2016. Whereas Chuck Black was born, we all knew him as Chuck. I'm not gonna say Charles because <laughs> he was not Charles to us, he was Chuck. Chuck was born on December 14, 1952 in Spartanburg, South Carolina. He earned a bachelor's degree in business administration from the University of Maryland and a diploma in acting from the National Conservatory of Dramatic Arts in Washington, D.C. And whereas in 1974, Chuck Black began serving our country as a proud member of the U.S. Navy in leadership positions that include senior chief fire controlman, Navy recruiter in Europe, and administrator at Naval Headquarters in Washington, D.C. And whereas during his distinguished 20-year naval career, Chuck Black received two Navy and Marine Corps Commendation Medals, three Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medals, and four Good Conduct Medals, and was selected as Sailor of the Year by two different commands. And whereas in 2003, Chuck Black and his wife Lynn moved to Fort Lauderdale and opened Signs by Tomorrow, known today as Image 360, an award-winning <coughs> visual solutions company, certainly has made our city a lot prettier, I can tell you that. In 2014, Image 360 was named Small Business of the Year by the Greater Fort Lauderdale Chamber of Commerce. And whereas Chuck Black generously gave his time, talent, energy to organizations including the city's Marine Advisory Board, the Riverwalk Fort Lauderdale, the Greater Fort Lauderdale Chamber of Commerce, Missions Uni Mission United, the LA Lee YMCA Family Center, Lake Ridge Civic Association, and the Council of Fort Lauderdale Civic Associations. And whereas Chuck was a member of the National Board of Directors and immediate past president of the South Florida Area uh, Navy League of the United States, he volunteered his leadership to the Navy League Foundation and the Navy League Fort Lauderdale Council and served as chairman of the commissioning of two Navy, two Navy ships, the USS Jason Dunham in 2010, and the Coast Guard Cutter Richard Etheridge in 2012. And whereas the most memorable gift Chuck Black gave to our city may well have been spearheading the initiative to convince the Navy to name a ship in honor of our city, Fort Lauderdale. The Navy's historic announcement in March of this year that a new amphibious transport dock ship would bear the name USS Fort Lauderdale, which culminated Chuck's incredible achievement. There it is. And and finally, whereas Chuck was a true community builder, distinguished patriot, successful businessman, and exemplary exemplary role model whose legacy will live live on in the thousands of lives he touched. Now therefore, be it proclaimed by the City Commission of the City of Fort Lauderdale that one, Chuck Black is hereby selected and honored as Citizen of the Year of the City of Fort Lauderdale for 2016 in recognition of his many accomplishments and valuable contributions to the City of Fort Lauderdale and that the City Commission of this city hereby pro publicly recognizes and acknowledges these achievements and contributions and does hereby express its heartfelt appreciation to Chuck Black. Number two, that a plaque honoring Chuck as Citizen of the Year of 
for the City of Fort Lauderdale for 2016 shall be presented to his wife, Lynn L. Sasser, and his son, and his portrait shall hang in City Hall. And finally, that a parchment copy of this proclamation shall be furnished by the city clerk to Lynn L. Sasser as a further token of the sincere gratitude and appreciation of the city of Fort Lauderdale, dated this October 5th, 2016, and signed by our mayor, John P. Jack Seiler. Now, this is probably one of those beautiful plaques I think we've ever given, and uh, it certainly not is a commemoration of his efforts for the naming of the ship USS Fort Lauderdale but uh, certainly stands as a proud achievement for everyone on behalf of the city, which plaque states, Chuck Black, a true community builder, distinguished patriot, successful businessman, and an exemplary, exemplary role model who made countless contributions to the progress and advancement of Fort Lauderdale, culminating with his crowning achievement to have a U.S. Navy ship named in the honor of our city. The USS Fort Lauderdale will forever serve as a permanent legacy of Chuck's visionary leadership, steadfast determination, and undeniable love for the city he called home. Lynn, I present this to you and to the city. You guys have to excuse me to compose myself. So I'll just start with uh, Monique said to me that uh, one of us could speak and we're up here to break the rules because Chuck always broke the rules. So we're following in his footsteps. I have a few words and Jonathan has a few words as well. Um, First, I wanted to congratulate all of today's recipients and um, their families and their friends who are here to honor them. It's quite uh, a significant achievement for all of you. And I wanted to give a very special shout out to Mike Weymouth. Thank you for everything you do for our city and very well deserved. Um, <clears throat> whoo. Uh, <clears throat> it is with great joy and pride and also sadness that Jonathan and I are accepting this award on behalf of Chuck. And I just wanted you all to know that uh, if he were here today, he would be celebrating. He would be grinning from ear to ear. You would not be able to wipe a smile off his face and he would stay and greet everyone until the end of today's luncheon and, and celebration. So um, we're really uh, glad that he knew that he would be receiving the Citizen of the Year Recognition Award. Um, <clears throat> between the announcement last March of the naming of the USS Fort Lauderdale and learning, <coughs> excuse me, learning about the Citizen of the Year Recognition Award, he really was floating on a cloud. I mean, we just couldn't bring him back down to earth. And for him, uh, it was a very, very proud achievement, and he really felt like he was leaving a legacy for his family, for Jonathan and his grandson, Andrew, and also for our city. Um, he loved Fort Lauderdale, and he did this for you guys. Um, <clears throat> just a little bit of thoughts about the USS Fort Lauderdale. He really knew that this city will embrace USS Fort Lauderdale when uh, it finally joins the fleet. Um, and I want to talk about not just the keel laying, not just the uh, christening, and not just the commissioning. That's really, for us, only the beginning. Um, if Chuck were here today, he would have a message for you. 
And that message is uh, residents, city officials, employees, uh, community leaders, organizations, businesses, our responsibility to the USS Fort Lauderdale and the sailors and Marines on this ship does not end when the ship is commissioned. That uh, responsibility and obligation, that's really where it begins. <clears throat> so I encourage you to keep up with the crew, send them cards, send them videos, send them care packages, follow them on Facebook, follow them on social media. Uh, remember, this ship will be around longer than some of us in this room. So share it with your kids, share it with your grandkids. We need the next generations to embrace this as much as all of us in this room embrace this great accomplishment. Uh, just a couple of other things to share. Many of you knew Chuck for a lot of his contributions to our city and he really was a community leader, but he had a much lighter side. He had such a wonderful sense of humor. And um, I know many of you experienced that on many occasions. Uh, you heard today that he was an actor. He was also a clown. Um, <clears throat> and many of his uh, heroes in his life were clowns. So on that note, I'm just going to leave you with one last thought today. And this is a, ch a quote from Charlie Chaplin. You'll never find a rainbow if you are looking down. So I'd just like to echo Lynn's thoughts about how thankful we are that my father knew about this award and how honored and proud that we are to uh, accept it on his behalf. Um, extremely thankful that he, that he knew about it before he passed on and most of my conversations with my father, since I live, live out of state, most of my conversations with my father were over the phone. Um, and over the last decade, he's on several occasions said, I've got something good to tell you. I got some good news, that sort of thing. Um, and it was usually that he was part of a new committee or, or chairman of this or chairman of that. Um, a lot of times I kind of took those with a grain of salt, you know, not, not fully understanding the weight of what he, was, what he was getting himself involved in. I just knew he was extremely busy and very selfless. Um, there were, although on a handful of occasions when he broke the news to me slightly different, and that's how I could tell that it was something very special to him, very important. Um, <laughs> those occasions I can remember are uh, the commissioning of the USS Jason Dunham, uh, being named Small Business of the Year with Lynn and, and their staff, um, the naming of the USS Fort Lauderdale, and this award, when he found out that he was getting the Citizen of the Year Award, um, he, he told me on the phone, son, I've got some good news to share. I said, okay, that's great. He says, are you sitting down? Are you ready for this? So that's how I knew it was gonna be something big. <laughs> there were on two occasions, only two, when he further clarified that by, you will be there, in his very fatherly tone. <laughs> One was that USS Jason Dunham commissioning, you will be there. And the second was to accept this award. You will be there when I accept that award. So here we are, Lynn and I, accepting that award on his behalf. Um, I'm sure he appreciates it. And he was very thankful. We're very th thankful that he knew about this. And we're very appreciative um, to all involved who helped him with his, with his nomination packet and to the committee for, for selecting him. So thank you very much.